In order to develop a causal model or a psychological causal model, you need to follow the following steps. The first step is to choose the variables. So you need to have a causal variable and a consequence variable. So the causal variable is the variable that if we make an intervention on that variable, it will produce an effect on the consequence variable. Now, what do you need to take into account to choose variables? Well, you need to, to take into account your research design. And for the purposes of the uh, research report you have to produce, you will have a, an experimental design in which there will be a control group and an experimental group and you are going to measure something some dependent variable on that on on those two groups so whatever you do to uh, manipulate the groups that's your causal variable because you are submitting these two groups to different levels of the causal variable and you will observe the effect on the consequence variable. So basically you need one variable, the causal variable, then an arrow and then the other variable. And so you need to choose the variables. <clears throat> Let's say if you're interested in a new drug, uh, drug X is the causal variable. Uh, let's say that you are uh, trying to see whether that that um, uh, drug uh, reduces depression. So these are your two variables. So you need to think, can I ha have a uh, an experimental design in which I have a group with drug and another group without the drug? And then I observe whether the depression is reduced after applying the drugs? Yes, you can that. You can do that. So basically, that is a good, um, a good uh, design, and then it it works for your causal model. Now, things to take into account when choosing the variables. First of all, the variable that is a causal variable should be what what I call a causal agent. Like, for example, if you have um, something like this, H causes knowledge, then um, what we are saying is that uh, um, as you become older, you acquire more knowledge. And that's not a bad thing to say. It's probably true. But it's aging what produces the knowledge. No, it's not. What produces the knowledge is reading books, attending to courses. Um, these are the variables that are the causal agents that produce the change in knowledge. So a causal model, a psychological one, is very simple, but you need to pay attention to the variables you choose. So one thing that to take into account is you need to uh, anticipate the research design you're going to have. Second, the variable, the variables have to be, uh, the causal variable has to be a causal agent. The third one is that the, the, at least one of the variables must be a psychological variable. So you can have a perfectly okay causal model, but that is not psychological. So what's psychological? Well, psycholo psychological, uh, concepts are are very broad so you you can have um, variables that are behaviors very variables that refer to cognitive processes variables that refer to subjective experiences so you've got a great variety of variables you can choose but they must be at least one of them should be a psychological variable and the third important thing is that it should be a plausible model. 
like for example um, the opposite of this one we got knowledge and causes age well that is not a good model because knowledge cannot produce a change in age if you if you acquire more, more knowledge that doesn't affect the age you have okay so you need to take into account the design of the study the uh, psychological agency of the causal variable third the one at least one of the variables must be psychological and fourth the no model should be a plausible model